y'all welcome or welcome back to my channel this is going to be another weekly lunchbox video um, just to let you guys know before we get started this is for my second grader um, he is eight um, and this is what we take for lunch throughout the week if you are new here please consider hitting that subscribe button uh, before you go we'd greatly appreciate it also um, let me know in the comments down below what are some things that your kid is taking in their lunch box that's not something like normal that we would see every day in a lunch box. I'm curious to know. I've been trying to introduce him to new things um, in his lunch box. Uh, so far not working out so well. Um, but anyway, I got the thermos out today and a can of SpaghettiOs. I will heat these things up in the morning as you guys know if you're n if you're new here you probably don't know but i make these the night before um just because i have a lot of stuff to do in the morning and it's just easier for me to get it done before okay um so i found these guys this is a mots mighty it's called incredible tropical which is weird I, that's a weird name anyway it's got vitamin a c and e in it it's supposed to help with the immune system so i thought we'd give these a try um, and they, they're gluten free. It's over 50%. Um, I've never seen them before. Over 50% juice. It's got 60 calories in it. And zero, it's got total 13 sugars, but, um, there's not any added sugars to it. So anyway, we're going to give that a go. We also have a sugar free orange gelatin that we're going to take. Of course, the Danimal we're going in with and a string cheese. And then we just put some apples in here as well as some pockies, pokey, whatever they're called. Um, this is the cookies and cream ones. So we're going to give that a try as well. I don't think he's ever had one. Um, and then for breakfast in the morning, not really breakfast, but like for the car ride, I got mini honey bun muffins. We'll give those a try. Um, he's never tried those before either. We're going to take some goldfish for our snack. We're just going to try to work through that big bag of goldfish right there. And then I'm also going to put a applesauce pouch out there just in case he wants to take both of them. He doesn't have to. He probably won't eat both of them, but I'm going to give him his option there. Um, so yeah, that's going to do it for Monday's lunch. We will see you guys tomorrow. Hey there, it is Tuesday's lunch and we're going to go ahead and not waste any time. Without any further ado, we're going to go ahead and get done with this area so that I can go and go about my day. Okay, um, first things first, the water bottle, a Danimal, a uh, cotton candy Danimal, and then we got our string cheese of course. Inside this guy is some tomato soup as well as a juicy juice there and then this is a grilled cheese sandwich in here that i'm going to heat up in the morning to dog and get that packed in his lunch box as well as some ritz crackers uh, some mini chocolate chip cookies and some berries there's blueberries and strawberries in there um i don't have any raspberries or blackberries so we're just going with the two today and then car ride mini muffins and power smack right there goldfish that is what we are taking for lunch today on this fabulous tuesday we will see you guys tomorrow hey guys it is wednesday's lunch uh, i hope you guys are doing good it is officially the middle of the week uh that means that for me I only have to work today and tomorrow because I don't work on Friday, but for most people, Wednesday is the middle of the week. Um, I do hope you guys are doing well out there, um, but I'm really tired. So this is what happens when I'm really tired. Number one, I pack lunches that are simple and easy. Most of the time, let's get real, I always pack simple and easy lunches, but you guys know. I'm not going through the dramatics of getting out the thermos and stuff in the morning because I know, um, you know. It's just too much. I got too, I don't have enough time. Um, and number two, uh, it's just what I feel like doing. Also, his lunchbox that he normally takes, which is that one over there, is dirty. 
So because of that, I have to use this smaller lunch box, which is this one right here. Um, and so this is just what I do whenever I have to uh, do this and I don't feel like doing dishes. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and get started. We are going to be taking a Uncrustable. We are going to be taking a Danimal cotton candy variety. We are also packing his required thermos. No, not thermos. His required uh, water bottle. Um, and then we're also going to take another one of these mighty, uh, incredible tropical drinks from Mott's. Um, he seemed to really like this. So I might just purchase some more of that. We're also going to be taking some Doritos and we got some grapes in here. These grapes are coming to the end of their life. So I'm going to try to push these for the next couple days with all of my kids. Um, so they don't go bad. So they're gone before they go bad if that makes sense. Um, I'm also going to go ahead and throw in this sugar-free uh, strawberry gelatin. Life itself as we know it, calcium stick. Um, and then we're also going to go in with a little bit of sugar with these uh, little funnables. These are really small. There might be like six little gummies in there. They're made for like, you know, Halloween treat bags and stuff like that. They're really small. Um, and this has a slight amount of sugar, but it says it's sugar-free, but it's got five calories in it, so it's gotta have something in there. A spoon and a napkin, of course. And then for our car ride to school, we're having the chocolate muffins. We're also, for power snack, we are gonna be taking the strawberry fruit and grain bar and also apples. I will let him decide uh, which one of these two he wants to take. If he wants to take them both, I'm fine with that also. Um, both of those are pretty good. Obviously, the apples are great. Um, and this guy does pretty good, I think. 130 calories. Uh, I can't. You know, the thing about me is, is that I think I need bifocals and I'm trying to push that out as long as possible. So I'm looking at this and I can't read that. So I know I need bifocals because I can't see far away. And when you have to take your glasses off to read the close up stuff, you know that there's a problem. It's either uh, I need bifocals or I've developed astigmatism or something like that. Um, I really need to go to the eye doctor and get that looked at, okay? Um, so I'll probably do that after the first of the year. I do not believe that I'll mess with that through the holidays. So there's that. Anyway, that is going to do it for today's lunch. I hope you guys have a fantastic day and we will see you guys tomorrow. Hello friends. It is Thursday. It's my favorite day of the week. Uh, minus Friday because it's my last day of work. It's the last day of my work week. I do not generally work on Fridays, which is exciting because I need that time at home to just do what I got to do for my family um, and it's easier for me just to not work. I work at a doctor's office so the office already closes early on Friday so it's just not worth it to me to go in and work on a Friday whenever I could be at home doing the things that I need to do for my home and my kids and my family and my husband. So um, plus it's the day that Fridays are the day that I do my YouTube, the Etsy shop, all of that stuff. That's the day that I get stuff done. It's also the day that I would garden if it was garden season. Um, uh, but anyway, rambling. We're just going to go right into this. We have just a regular plain ham and cheese sandwich cut in half. He will probably only eat half of this. Uh, half of the sandwich is what he generally eats. You know, he likes those... Uncrustables and whatnot, and those are you know quite smaller. Plus, he doesn't get a lot of time to eat, so he it's not that he probably couldn't finish it, it's probably he just won't have time to finish it. Um, and we got our string cheese as per usual, and then we got this guy, which is a strawberry danimal. And then down yonder in this box, or in this little compartment, it is apples in the variety of red and green. Somebody asked me recently um, how I get these apples to stay apple color. Um, I buy them like that, specifically for the lunchbox. When I go to Walmart, if they look good, sometimes when you go to Walmart and you find these pre-sliced in the bag, um, they don't look good. Uh, so I will find me a bag that looks decent um, because they already put the like lemon juice on them 
when they package them up. So it's just easier for me to buy this than have to soak them and so forth and so on in the water lemon juice mixture um, because uh, I'm a busy lady, that's why. There's no other rhyme or reason, it's just convenient for me when it comes to the apples to do it that way. So everything else I slice up, cut up, carry on. You know, if you guys watched my um, like pantry and fridge stock ups, if you haven't, I'll link one above somewhere in this video. Um, then, you know, uh, you know what I'm talking about. I you do usually wash and store all of my produce and vegetables and blah, 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 blah weekly when I go, when I get back from the grocery store. Um, it just so happens that the apples is the only thing of that nature that I don't do that with because uh, I just don't want to soak them. I ain't got time for that. Anyway, moving along. We got some cheese Pringles right here. And then I don't know where his water bottle's at. It's probably still in the car, but I will get it. Um, and we are loving these Mott's Mighty uh, Fruit Juices things. This is Incredible Tropical. I think that's a ridiculous name. Um, it doesn't even sound right. Anyway, we're taking that, and then of course he'll have his water bottle, it's required. Um, and then we have the mini muffins. And again, we live about 15 minutes outside of town, so it takes us quite a long ways to get into town. Then we have to drop one boy off at one school, then I have to go and get the other boy uh, dropped off at a different school. And this guy, of my three kids, this guy takes medication. So we give him his medication before we leave the house and he gets these to put something on his stomach because he takes medication. So, um, and then normally he does eat whatever fruit they offer at breakfast time. Once he goes to school, he does generally eat more fruit than anything else. As far as if we're at home and he wants a snack, it's, it's a banana or it's an apple or it's blueberries. Um, he doesn't generally reach for things like this. I just put that in there um, because A, I'm an awesome mom, and B, because I think it's nice just to put a treat in there. So, But generally, he doesn't reach for things like this. Uh, he eats them because I put them in his lunchbox, but if we were at home, he would probably pick a fruit instead of cookies. So anyway, he doesn't usually eat the entire breakfast the school offers, but he will get the milk and he will get the fruit whatever fruit is offered he uh does like just about all fruit he doesn't like pomegranate we found out and he doesn't like kiwi but i think that he's eaten pretty much every other fruit um there is so then he has a power snack of course and it is like at i don't know like 10 30 or something because he has a late lunch he doesn't get his lunch until like 12 30. so they get a power snack at like what they call power snack um at like 9 30 10 10 30 somewhere in there and he generally he's such a sweet boy you guys he generally will pick whichever one that he wants and then he will give another student who didn't bring a snack or forgot their snack or maybe their parents just don't provide the snacks for them one or the other of whichever one he doesn't want because he's a sweet little boy he's got a heart of gold anyway so that is what we're doing for thursday we will see you guys tomorrow for friday hey y'all welcome back to friday's lunch y'all we made it through the week girl aren't you excited i am Anyway, um, so today's lunch, uh, I'm not going to lie to y'all, I cheated, okay? I cheated. I cheated big time. Um, we have pajama day tomorrow. We have a whole bunch of things going on. I had to do some stuff after work today. I didn't get home until like 6 or 7, and this is the thing. We're getting ready for the spelling words today, all of the things, okay, last night. So this morning... I actually did pull this out this morning. Generally, I film these in the evening time, but today, girl, I didn't, and I cheated because I did it. So, um, anyway, I bought this guy. Launchable Uploaded Sandwich. Turkey and cheddar. Comes with the water and a little, you know, Kool-Aid thingamajig. Two chocolates and the pretzels, okay? But me, hello? Come on. Well, maybe, y'all, uh, we might be able to get this guy to focus. There we go. Um, I added some things uh, because that's the way I roll. I got to at least look like I'm not a bad parent. 
uh, by sending the Lunchables to school when I send my kid to school with the lunch. Am I right? Am I right? Anyway, so anyway, I put the sandwich together. It did come, oddly enough, with a little thing of mayo, but my kid's not going to eat the mayo. So we're not even going to put that in there. Sometimes he does eat mayo, but he really likes plain sandwiches. I know it's weird. Um, he likes mayo on chicken, which is odd, but is what it is. And then I went ahead and cut him up a string cheese and put it in there with his little chocolates right there. And then the Pringles original, the whole container. This thing comes with a whole like normal size snack container. Okay. The cat is being naughty again, guys. The cat. Uh, so then I'm just going to put the uh, Danimal back in there. Um, because the last time I lived my life without a Danimal, it was no bueno. Okay. I was told about it, uh, whenever I got home, uh, and whenever he got home actually. So we're not going to, we're not going without it, bro. We're just not. Anyway, we also have the water it came with and I've already, you know, mixed the stuff in there. We got our water bottle and then because I don't have any more muffins left for the car ride to school. I've got this guy. This is a fruit and grain blueberry uh, situation uh, cereal bar. And then I'm going to get him to uh, down this apple juice. Not apple juice. Go, go, squeeze. Applesauce. Applesauce. I'm so excited. It's Friday. You don't even know. Okay. So, and then for snack, I'm going to send him these Ritz bits. Technically, this is not on the healthy treat list. But, I mean, it's only got like 150 calories. It can't be that bad. Am I right? It's not candy. Okay, so there's that. I'm sending it. We'll see what happens. Hopefully, he can eat it. If not, he'll have the, he'll probably have the go-go squeeze instead. So, we're going to try it out. We're going to try and sneak it in there to the power snack situation. We're going to sneak it in. Anyway, guys, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, and I hope that your school lunch situation is moving right along. I hope you guys do have a fantastic weekend. When you see this video, of course, it'll be on a Wednesday. But moving forward, I would like for you guys to have a fantastic weekend. If you are new here, please consider hitting that subscribe button. And for those of you guys who keep coming back, thank you so very much. It really does mean the world to me. I appreciate you. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know how you are, where you're from. And as always, guys... Give yourself some grace even when you're packing school lunches and you cheat a bit. All right. We'll see you next week, guys. Bye.